Hello, my name is Laura. I am the owner of You Are Loved Templates. I create templates for productivity and overall lifestyle with the message of remembering that you are loved no matter the journey you're going through. I think I push this message because I've created these templates in order to help myself. And sometimes when I'm on a self-help journey, I forget to have compassion for myself because I'm always in this idea that I need to be fixed when that's just not true. We can always improve and also love ourselves along the way. Anyway, let's get into this monthly budget template. <laughs> so this is very simple to use. You're going to select the month that you're in just for your reference and your total income. I'll just put $6,000 there. Then you're going to list all of your bills. So budget versus actual is, this is the amount that you're budgeting out. So I'll fill this in first, 1200. My phone is 100, I'll budget that out. Utilities, I'll budget $100. So this is what you'll fill out at the beginning of the month. And then as you pay these things, you'll fill out what you've actually spent. So some things will never change. You know that you're spending 1200 on rent. But let's say your phone bill was 98.75 you'll put what you actually spent and maybe your utility bill was a little lower at 74 dollars health insurance will stay at 400 car payment car insurance and maybe internet was 93.25 so that's the difference between budget and actual now we can list other expenses like groceries how much i'll budget for the month is let's say 600 dollars then as the month goes on You'll add up how much you spent on groceries and put it here. So maybe I went over budget at 712, maybe under budget for personal items, and maybe over budget for entertainment. And it'll add up what you've actually spent the whole month for the other expenses. So for savings, you can say what you're saving for, maybe emergency fund, $200. This is money that you'd like to put away for this month. Then again, as the month goes on, you could put what you actually saved. So let's say you did save 200 for emergency and for vacation. Maybe you didn't want to save that much for a house, so you just put 100 in for the house and 400 for the wedding. And then lastly, this is where you'll put your debts, like credit cards or student loans. Maybe I'll put my minimum payment that I have to pay. And then what you actually ended up spending. So these probably won't change if these are things that you have to pay. So you can look down here in the summary and see what you budgeted out to spend and how much you actually spent. And then over here, it tells you how much money you have left. This could be negative if you ended up spending more one month, but it just subtracts what you actually spent from your income. And it looks like I have $655 left over this month. One quick thing I'll note is if you want to change the currency, you just highlight the areas where you see a dollar symbol, go to format, number, custom currency, and select your currency from there. So I'll pick the British pound and it'll change it there. And then you'll just go through and change all of these. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can email me at etsyyouareloved at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer anything. Thank you.